If you just updated your site with a plugin or a theme and it broke your site, then I'm going to walk you through how you can roll it back or get back to a working piece. The first method is if you can still access your site, but you're just, it's not working like it should, then the first method will work for you. Now, if you can't access your site at all, then stick around for the next method because that'll be for you. So let's dive in. Throughout all of our videos, we always say it's the best practice to keep your website up to date. That also means keeping your plugins and your themes up to date. But sometimes updates can actually break your site. It's not always happened, but when it does, it's really frightening. So that's why we always recommend that you create a complete WordPress backup before performing any updates. The problem with backups is maybe you've made some changes to the site and you don't want to lose those changes when you restore from a backup, but you still needed to revert it back to where it was before. Okay, so if all of this is happening, what do we do? The first thing you want to do is if you can access your site, we're going to go in and install a plugin. It's called the WP Rollback. So let's go to plugins, add new. And what this will do is it will help you roll back to a previous version of a theme or a plugin that you're using that you've downloaded from the repository. Now, if a premium theme has broken your site, then you'll want to reach out to that premium theme support and say, hey, I need a previous version of it or I need help. And that's part of what you're paying for with the premium version is for that support. But this will work if you've downloaded something from the repository, a free version, and this will work for you. So let's go ahead and install the WP Rollup plugin. And then we'll go ahead and activate it as well. And once it's installed, you can see in the plugins area, these are all of my plugins that I have installed. And if they have been installed from the repository, then I see a rollback area. So that means that they can roll back to the previous version of that plugin. Let's just say for an example, I want to roll back WP code. I can click the rollback button. And these are all of the previous versions that I can roll back to. Since this is the installed version, let's just say we just updated from the previous version. Let's go back to that and we'll roll it back. It'll say, hey, are you sure we want to do this? Let's go ahead and say, yes, let's do that. And you'll roll back. Ideally, this should fix whatever issue just happened to your site. Now, what if it was a theme? Same thing happens with the theme. We can go to appearance. Let's go to themes. Again, as long as you have a theme that is downloaded from the site, this is the theme that is currently on our site. So I'm going to click on theme details and down at the bottom, all the way over to the right, it says rollback. Again, if I click on rollback, it'll say, okay, well, which version do you want? Again, since this is the installed version, we're assuming that was the previous version that was probably better. So we can click on that and say rollback. Again, you'll get a question. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to make any changes? Make sure you make a backup in case something happens. So then we can roll back as well. And that'll just help you get back to a working functioning website right there. Now, what if you're not able to even access your site? Maybe you're getting a white screen of death, meaning that there's just no way you're even able to get into your admin area. If that's the case, you'll want to log into your hosting provider so that you can make some changes on the folder structure. For instance, this is on Bluehost, so I'm going to log into my Bluehost account. From here, you want to go to your site. You want to manage your site. You want to go to advanced. And we're looking for file manager. Basically, we need to go into the file manager to make some changes. This is my main area, so I want to go to WP content. We'll double click on that and we can make some changes here. So right here, I want to rename this. And you can rename it anything. Basically, we just want it to where it deactivates all of our plugins. So I'm just going to rename it deactivate, rename the file. Once you deactivate that, then you should be able to go back to your home page and we can go to plugins. What we'll do is it'll automatically deactivate all of your plugins. So we can click refresh and we see that there are no installed plugins. And that's simply because the plugin directory is completely changed. So it's not even reading any of them. Once we deactivate all that, you should be able to log into your account. Once you log in, if you can log in, then that means it's one of your plugins that's wrong. So when you come over to install plugins, they're all going to be gone because your plugin area is missing. You want to come back, rename this back to plugins. 
And because you can now log in, we'll go back to our site. Let's click refresh. And you should see all of your plugins here, but they're all deactivated. So you can go in one by one and reactivate each one and see which one is causing the issue. Same thing can be done with your theme. Say your theme is what's causing the problem. Then let's go back to our file manager. We go into themes. For this, you'll want to remove the theme. So you, hopefully you know what the name of your theme is that you're using. For instance, we are using the 2020. So we're going to right click and say rename. Again, you can rename it whatever because we'll change that in a minute. So let's rename it. And then you should be able to log into your site. Now you log into your site, but if you go to the front end, then you'll see that your theme is not working and it probably looks a little funky. If you go to your dashboard, go to appearance themes, then it'll try and attach a theme to it. In this case, since the 2020 was deactivated, it automatically did the most recent 2022. But you can log in and now you can figure out what's going on. Maybe update to the previous version of the theme that you want or what have you. Reach out to the company that did the theme, see if they can help you with that. But now you can log into your site so you can get back to running it. Go back to my file manager, rename it again so that I have it. I'll probably have to go in and reactivate it and I'm going to go ahead and update it. So between all of those steps, you should have something that allows you to get back into your site. And if none of those work, but you're still getting something like say a white screen of death, then you can watch this video next as we walk you through step-by-step -step on how to fix the white screen of death and what might be causing it. And I'll see you over there.